and welcome to my channel today we're going to talk about the endometriosis diet and how to make it your lifestyle and the most important thing is how to make it stick and how to actually make it work this is the most important thing you know not what to take out and what to add the most important thing is how to bloody make it work so it doesn't feel like a diet is just Part of your lifestyle so you're gonna uh, see my day and the things which I'm doing and I want to invite you to my Instagram because I'm gonna share the things I don't share actually here you know like snippet from my uh, days like the moments when I do things what I shouldn't be doing in this kind of moment we all have it we all have it and let's cut the chase we all have it no one is perfect yeah no one and if somebody tells you like they stick to their amazing diets all the time every single day girl do not believe them because they're lying seriously we are all humans nobody is perfect you just have to know how to jump to the bloody wagon when you fell off from this <laughs> how to jump it back in and do your best do your best because you know this is all about doing our best yeah no one expects bloody perfection because no one is perfect so and the metrosis diet and how to make it your lifestyle let's dive in hey guys i'm gonna uh, show you how the anti-inflammatory diet looks like today i've got a day off and it's a beautiful day so let's see what i'm doing that's for example my breakfast full of anti-inflammatory um food and what we got here we've got the kale we've got the spinach we've got some peppers over here that's for the natural sugar we've got some cucumbers uh, we've got some tuna i'm pescatarian so it's mean i eat fish but i don't eat like other kind of meat uh, we've got the uh, lemons yes i eat lemons like this and whoever been in middle east and eat fatouche you understand why the lemons are so bloody good plus the vitamin c is uh, so much anti-inflammatory so i absolutely love putting lemon everywhere uh, I top it up with uh, olive oil, like uh, extra virgin and, you know, make sure it's nice and natural and even pay a little bit extra to, to have it, you know, nice. And I put a lot of salt. Salt, I use it as a biohack. Uh, if you want to lose weight, you know, you, the oils and the salt is just must have girl. So I put the salt, I put the pepper, a lot of black pepper. These things on the leaf, which you see is turmeric. So I just sprinkle turmeric, you know, on the top. And the pumpkin seeds, as you can see, that's the another amazing anti-inflammatory uh, oils. If you're interested about the oils, you know, which are the best for not just for endometriosis, but if you want to lose weight or if you just want to heal naturally, uh, there is the free checklist, uh, which I'm going to include in the comment section below. So make sure uh, you got it because the oils are actually proven to make a hell of the difference. So this is my breakfast, my dear friends. No bread, as you can see. No cheese, as you can see just like pure 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 veggies so as you know i'm off the coffee i don't do coffee so my morning tea it's gonna be just a morning tea which is the yogi tea and uh, they always got the nice messages act don't react you see thank you for reminding me so that's the ginger orange with vanilla i've got another teas i've got many teas black tea I've got Polish tea, which is the mint tea. I've got turmeric tea. I've got this very strange tea, which actually smell like uh, smoked cheese. I know it sounds horrible, but it's actually sm smell very, very nice. Smoky China tea. If you see it, get it. You will see. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I've got a lot of Arabic teas because I think they are actually better quality than our normal teas. Like I, I can actually feel, feel and taste the different. So that's the green tea and cardamom. Uh, that's the rose tea. And I've got my magic tea, which is this one. And it's actually changed the color when you add the lemon. So normally it's the very, very blue, but when you add the lemon, it's red so that is my breakfast teas 
Alrighty guys, dinner has come and with dinner it's a soup. It's actually homemade soup, not from the from the you know thingy. Homemade soup. I put like uh, potatoes, I put the leeks, I put the cucumbers because this is the cucumbers, Polish cucumber soup. And if you never try Polish cucumber soup, my god, you're missing so much. Like Poland is very famous from their soups and I'm doing a lot of soups. Because I absolutely bloody love it. So I'm just gonna add some pepper and some salt. And what? I'm gonna add, guys, a little bit of turmeric. Yeah. And I have to do it. Ah! I have to do it like this. Very sorry. <laughs> Cucumber soup with turmeric. Let's see how it. Turmeric. I don't see it as a diet. I see it as a human diet, diet which every human should be following. No, we are the only species who actually go on diet. Think about it, you know, no other animals, no other creatures in the earth go on diet, only we do. And do you know what is more healthy than kale? Healthy relationship with your food and with your body. All you have to understand that this is not a diet and uh, basically you are not taking away anything from you you are just coming back home. You are just coming back to the place where the health always was. Do you know what I mean? Because look at this, our ancestors, they didn't eat the fast foods, they didn't eat the pizza, you know, they didn't eat all this horrible, horrible, greasy, fried, you know, processed foods, which I don't even call food. So for me, coming back to anti-inflammatory diet, it was like coming back to the times when I was very small and living in our farmhouse in Poland. So I don't feel it like I, I lost something. I feel it like I gained something think again I gain my health so the first thing to make it your lifestyle is to remember that this is not diet at all it's not a diet basically is the way of living the way how our ancestors was living and the way we thanks to which we are actually here because think about it if your ancestor didn't eat correctly it's very likely that you wouldn't be watching this another important thing don't feel bad of being this person which don't eat certain things you know because society told us that we have to follow others and do what the others do so sometimes we when we go out with friends to the restaurant we don't want to be this person who don't eat gluten don't eat this and don't eat that and you know couldn't have this one and this one we don't want to be the problematic one we don't want to be the picky one but let me ask you why not like why not for me actually is not negotiable when i'm going out with friends i should give to my body something would harm my body just to please my friends or to be accepted by my friends and which kind of friends are they if you have to eat what they eat to be accepted anyway do you know what i mean you know everyone knows that yola don't do these things like yola don't do crack cocaine so it's not negotiable it's not negotiable i'm not ashamed of this this is how i live this is what keeps me healthy for the third year in the row so i actually make it non-negotiable <laughs> so i don't even feel bad going to the restaurant and being that person actually I encourage you to be that person because the good example starts from you. And the third way to make anti-inflammatory diet your lifestyle is to realizing that this is the only way. You either have a lot of medication, probably till the rest of your life and living in the pain and being sick, or you have this diet, this human diet, and uh, a lot of nice vegetables and nice fruits and discipline which you have to develop which one is it like which one is it you basically have two pills do you know what i mean are you gonna get the red pill or you're gonna get the blue pill you have to make this choice girl you really have to make this choice because it's one way or another you cannot have it both ways so i hope it helped 
And if you've got any questions about anti-inflammatory diet, like any specific questions, please hit me in the comments below. And in the next Monday video, we're going to talk about fertility and I'm going to share actually my not nice fertility story and how the endometriosis affect my fertility and, and the plans and actually excited surprises not pregnant yet so if you like this video hit the like button subscribe and share it with somebody who you think might benefit from this and remember your body is healing yourself don't let anyone to tell you otherwise because you are bloody powerhouse i see you next monday love you all bye